I'm I'm excited to dig deeper. So, the, so some of the concerns that I have, right? Franchises don't always work. Like, look at like the the gyms is an interesting one. If you jump on a trend and you go and get a franchise of a trend, and then the trend stops and slows down, you're the one holding the bag with the lease against your name with all those kind of things. Like it's it's seemingly an asset to some extent. But How it's is not that any different than? Exactly the same thing in your own business. That's just no. business risk. You can do franchise poorly. You can do business poorly. You can do business well. You can do franchise well. Yeah, but I can't come out with my own products and stuff under a franchise. Like I can't do so many other things. Yeah, so that's the consideration, right, is the control. Yeah. Okay. I'm excited to unpack this. This is going to be great. Oh, I can already see both sides. So you dive deeper. Let's, Let's dive, dive deeper. deeper. Let's do I'm going to say there's a personality type that comes with this as well. Yeah, employees. It's great. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> I'm Lucky I didn't have any we, coffee in my mouth then. That was a real laugh. <laughs> I'm glad that we could agree on something. All right, yeah. so I'm going to go out there on a limb here and hope that Bianca doesn't listen to this episode. You know she will. I'm going to send it to her. It's fine. Go. <sighs> All right, so me and Bianca are very different, um, not just in gender, by the way, but like <laughs> a lot of things. Just they're the same in a lot of ways, but we're very different. And, and one of the things that is most notable is Bianca is excellent at following a system. Yeah. Right, so she's from corporate world. She's done accounting degrees. Like she smashes the absolute teeth off it, knocks the cover off it. Was she an A plus student? Absolutely, firstborn yeah, totally. high achiever. Totally. Yep. Um, me, on the other hand, like my pathway, and just to go through there, is like when you do a plumbing apprenticeship. Do you know how it works? Uh, you, you go can't. home when the job's done. Work it out. <laughs> <laughs> so simple. Yeah, but this is almost like the difference where it's like if you – so there's no instruction manual. Yeah. You're like you, you're doing a lot of like problem solving, working your own out solutions and things like that. And I actually think that's been a really good thing for me as a business owner skill. I didn't know it at the time. Problem solving is a great thing. Yeah, so things come up and my go-to is not where's the manual. It's like problem solving. Bianca, something goes up and it's like she does better in that world. Yeah. Now, if you recognize in your personality type – and the easy way to look at this is like – if you are really struggling to come up with a service or product to sell and you're completely overwhelmed with the idea of like having to do that, franchising might be a really good option for you. Sounds fantastic. Yeah. I would put it out there. If Bianca opened a McDonald's um, franchise, she would crush it. She is excellent at doing that, which is why I think in the world of bookkeeping and accounting where there's a system, dominates. Yeah, there's a right and wrong. There's minimal gray area. Correct. Look at someone like myself. I wouldn't do well in that. I would actually, I would argue I would do better at opening my own restaurant because I would have the freedom to set it up in a way from there, but I would be thrive in that environment. So totally. I think personality type drives a massive, massive part of that as well. Just saying there's Charlie's Charcoal Chicken in Sydney. Every time I ate there, I thought of you. And I'm like, this is what Charlie would do. It was fantastic. So yes, I have lived that life where you did own a restaurant. Maybe one day. There's this but, thing called the, um, what did they, they call it the entrepreneurial decathlon where it's like through your life you want to own different types of businesses <laughs> and it's like you have to achieve success in each one of them. Can I make that not as a recommendation for anyone on the face of this planet? <laughs> like that just sounds like pain. You're a business You're, owner purist then. <laughs> you totally. I just, I feel as though people choose the pain that they go through and like that is just going, I just love eating glass. Let's go and eat glass. <laughs> business decathlon, that's terrible. I'll throw one more thing on this, is the idea that I think a lot of business owners look down on franchise owners to a degree, like, you, di you didn't, you know, carve the path, you just, like, took someone else's system. That is not what I represented at the start of this episode at all. <laughs> Maybe. I must admit at a point in my life I had a, probably a, a similar perception, mm -hmm. but then after meeting some very, very clever people that are in franchise world, I am completely reversed my opinion. They are savages. They are legit business owners that are, excellent at working a system to their advantage and likely will do better than the majority of business owners out there. Yeah. And I I loosely know why. And like I I guarantee you they're not sitting in like a McDonald's or something like that. One of them is, I won't name the person, really? but one of them is sitting in a similar franchise to that and has done excellent to that. And I think at one point had eleven of them. There, there you go. Yeah, yeah. And so um, they were playing the franchise business game. Yeah. Yeah. And then another one is someone I know, and I'm cautious in mentioning it, but at the same time, uh, I mean, if this person reaches out, I'll still say, hey, this, I'm a big fan of what you did there. Action coach. Mm. So I've been very fortunate to have some encounters with Brad Sugars, who I'm a massive fanboy of. I will, I will accept.
Great book. Love his books. And he's also been on some podcasts with me over time as well, which I've enjoyed. Like he's a he's a superstar. But I actually know some people that had action coach franchises and were in that system as well. And they did incredibly well. Mm. Incredibly well. So I've looked at that and gone, you know, it's really reversed something when you've seen it differently. So could a business owner be successful? And even if they're kind of carving their own path now and it's not really working for them, should should they consider a franchise? I think potentially. I really do. Hey, fellow business owner. If this topic and value-packed short video has resonated with you at all and you want to dive deeper into creating wealth inside and outside your business, check out the full episode by clicking the link on your screen or in the description right now.